this is the keys to my new car and as you can see we cannot find out yet what kind of car is this because it's covered with snow this is me trying to making the intro but this was too much throttle let's go one more time come on now we got this come on come on no too late with the steering wheel all over the place we can try one more time come on come on come on this should be nice come on yeah keep it straight yeah this one it's nice we keep it hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel again this is a new year and it's a new project now we are going to see this car Happy New Year! <laughs> so now we put the keys in our pocket and we take the shovel. The car was not so big, it had a lot of snow on. So guys, as you see, it starts to look like a Toyota Starlet. So now we have to see if it will start. Okay, it has two keys. <laughs> That's no good. I think all of the locks are frozen. We cannot even get into the car. <laughs> no so we go to solution number two i think everything is frozen here so we will try to warm it up Oh. Yes! <laughs> it worked! Perfect! Very nice! Very nice! So now, let's see if it starts. But check, it's in such a good condition inside here. No, I think it's the other key. It has two keys. One for the door, one... We have power. Oh, okay. The gears is, is frozen too. You cannot. Let's try. <laughs> okay. No. We have power. We don't have that much power to start it. Okay. So we open the bonnet. <laughs> no way. I bring the booster. Not bad.
we have a running guard now. So guys, maybe wondering why I bought this car. I bought this car because this has a very big sentimental value for me. I had the same car back in Hellas, but when I moved to Norway, I sold it. And this is one of the things that I have regret the most in my life. Uh, in Hellas, I had the same car. It was a Toyota Starlet, but it was the Glanza version. The Glanza Toyota Starlet was produced in Japan and it was right hand drive. So in Hellas we had bought one, we had imported uh, one right hand drive and we swapped everything to a left hand drive car so we can drive it in Hellas. And uh, now this car, it's not this version. So that means we need to find parts from the Glanza and, and make it. So we, we, we need to paint the whole car, we need to buy the body kit, we need to turbo the engine and uh, change the exhaust, change the rear axle and put the disc brakes and also here in Norway before you do a very big changes to your car you have to fill out a form and send it to Staten's Vivesen they will check what they what you want to do with the car actually and if it's safe and it has to to be to be okay for the road and we will get their answer back so one of the things I'm thinking to do with the car is to drive it to UK, find if somebody of you have uh, the body kit from this car, swap it straight on the car because to ship the parts to, to Norway is crazy expensive. So I'm thinking it's cheaper to drive the car to UK, see the, see the country there and also swap straight the, the bonnet, the two bumpers and the back door and drive back to Norway. So this is one of my plans. It's a little bit crazy, but why not? <laughs> we just finished with all the paperwork with the car. We take all the snow out. Here is the car. Now we paid for the car. The car is ours and uh, we can send, we can fill out this form and send it to the Saturn's Vivesen to, so we can get the approval to start making turbo this car. So a quick, uh, a quick show around to the car. It's probably the cleanest starlet I could find in Norway. All these old kind of cars in Norway, they are rusted because of the snow and because of the salted road. So I'm very happy from, for finding this car. And uh, it's a car that we can do a lot of things with. It shares the same chassis with the Glanza. The only thing we need now is the approval and the parts. I hope you're excited with this project. I'm very excited about doing this. Please like and subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye.